What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to do a review on the Chase the Storm patch notes that just came out before we tackle Behemoth. So I'm expecting things like Behemoth changes, some updates on what the nerfs are going to be about, some events that are going to be coming out, you know, things like that that they showed in the previous patch. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Heroes of Arcasia! The September Chase the Storm update arrives in Arcasia tomorrow. Downtime will begin September 11th on Wednesday. And expect it to last 8 hours. No problem. And we are going to get progression towards Tier 4 and the massive behemoth. Okay? So, okay, Mr. Henry, sorry, I'm not going to watch your video, but I'm going to read the text. So, first off, we get a Behemoth Raid. So, this is pretty obvious. What we did know is that they reduced the item level from 1640 all the way down to 1620. It looks like they give us eight revives. So, I'm, I might make a video about this, but, you know, are revives necessary in Lost Ark to help with the casuals? Will it help with gatekeeping? These are all questions we need answered, and I'm really excited to make some video like that after I get to experience it again when the first time was Argos, and now it's Behemoth. So let's see. But anyway, uh, let's see here. So there, yeah, there's no Siderials or whatever like that, and there's only two gates. So the only problem I have about Behemoth is the 16 players. Where the heck am I going to find 16 players? This is going to be a nightmare to prog because you are going to have to find multiple supports every single time somebody fails so I, re I really hope we don't fail that's the first thing but just getting 16 players all to get ready for a raid is kind of ridiculous i don't know why they did it like this i hope they stop with the 16 raids 32 raids where, where is it gonna go 128 raids that's like half the population of lost ark let's calm down here stick to four and at max eight but i prefer four man raids over anything but let me know what you guys think. Let's just keep on going because I'm rambling a little bit. Weapon Transcendence. So this is the final piece of the puzzle for the Transcendence that Behemoth will give you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly what the bonuses are going to be, but obviously you're going to want to push it to level 7. This is a major, major priority on top of your chest piece and your pants to get to level 7 first. And it looks like you get a first-time clear reward of 100x Behemoth skill, which helps you to unlock the weapon transcendence. It's not like the Thay Mine Dark Fires. Don't stack those Dark Fires in hopes to upgrade your weapon. You need to use the Behemoth Scales in order to hone, or not hone, transcend your weapon. Uh, so it's really nice that they gave 100. I read a Reddit comment about needing a total of 340 scales. So this is a good start. But now, many people are not going to have... Uh, weapon transcendence on the first day obviously so you know this is something to work towards okay other than that so everything is all just whatever this is all whatever 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 and ooh, what is this epic rate exchange will be added with the latest ql changes including an unlimited exchange with reduced price for dark fire and elixirs hmm so is this going to give you Dark fires to push your transcendence for your other gear. That's really nice if it is. But I actually have no idea what this means. If anybody knows what this means, again with patch notes from AGS, their English is not the greatest. So if anybody knows exactly what this means, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume that you can buy dark fires and elixirs from a new vendor for a cheaper price. But moving on to the event, chase the storm progression event. Uh, this will help you push 1600 to 1620. This is pivotal. So remember from my video where I recommended which item level you should park your alts at. Well, if you already have a 1620, great and all, but 1600 is kind of the ideal number because of cases like this. You wait for the next event passes over and over again, and then as you have those 1600 sitting ducks collecting leap stones and shards and whatnot, you will fast track your way to 1620 for nearly half the cost, maybe even more. Who knows? But anybody who has been leaving a 1600 character parked 
Congratulations, now you can get the 1620 and access Behemoth. Other than that, let's see here. The event, okay, so honing a Kong gear will grant honing books. Uh, in the ton of bound gold to help players hone their gear, which is, which is nice. Clearing Ivory Tower will grant... Okay, so there's like clear rewards as well. Uh, honing rewards and then clear rewards, which are pretty great. You get free elixirs and you get free dark fires and Transcendence Ruin Restoration. So Transcending will be a lot cheaper. I know a lot of people were worried about that. My friend was worried about that. No more worries about that anymore. We get some of those tickets. And I believe for Behemoth 2, they said, yeah, we're getting weapon restoration tickets as well. So that's really nice to help out with gold. Okay, Bloomy Makoko. So this is the one where you pick up the Makoko seeds off the ground and you have a chance of getting gold. So in this case, this time they're granting larger amounts of bound gold than previous years. So I don't know exactly how much they're going to give, but it better be a lot. I had a complaint about this in another video where I said that, you know, the 10k grand reward that you used to get back in the day used to be good because people didn't use a lot of gold back then. But now, 10k gold, I sneeze out 10k gold. You know, like it's easy to get rid of 10k gold. So, I really hope the gold is at least five times that. So like 50, 50k. Because you might go, oh my god, 50k! It's a chance of getting 50k gold. And on top of that, 50k gold is not going to be a life-changing amount anyway so just give it to us it says you can participate once per account in a region per day so you can't abuse it and this event can be entered at waste transport yep the usual place to get it all right and this will last until october 9th perfect so about a month Oktoberfest. so we get an, an event shop that grants us important progression materials such as beautiful oh my god oreja fusion materials so, you know, I'm going to take some credit into this. You know, maybe some AGS intern watched my videos. But this is what I'm talking about. Giving us extra Oreja Fusion materials helps us greatly to push to 1600, uh, 1600 to 1620 for Behemoth. We all want to get to tier 4 on our characters. We're excited for it. So this is beautiful to help us all out on that. Transcendence Restoration tickets again with Elixirs again. They're, they're really making sure that everybody has the opportunity to transcend to level 7 and get 40 set Elixirs. Beautiful. October event coins will help you to prepare for tier 4. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. No additional steps. And this will last for a month about. Double Fate Ember event. The drop rate for Fate Embers will be doubled. From September 11th to October 9th. Oh, okay. So is this like Maple Story now? All of a sudden, where there's like a like an event time. You know that might that might actually be a good idea and another video idea. So I'm thinking of two video ideas in one. This is amazing already. Off the rip. This seems like Maple Story, and I believe they should have some stuff like this in the future as well. Sorry, I was stumbling across my words, but. Double Fate Ember, you know, this is amazing because, you know, it will motivate people to do their Chaos Dungeons more often. It will make it more fun. And I was actually planning on making another video about complaining about Chaos Dungeons because it seems like everybody forgot, right? We were supposed to get even more nerfs for Chaos Dungeons to help with burnout, but they just completely forgot about it, apparently. So, this is really helpful. This is really nice. Let's see how this goes. Anyway, continuing on, the ongoing events are extended. Okay, wonderful. And, and they're giving us silver. So any of the silver-lacking players of Lost Ark, congratulations. All that unused event tokens that we currently have can be used to get silver. So make sure you use that. And beautiful. Everything else is being extended, so that's awesome. All right. Other than that, okay, favorite time, daily, okay, whatever. Swimwear, okay, whatever. Progression updates. Armor Transcendence level 4 to 6. Okay, so this is what we were talking about before. So Gay Tooth A Mine, you can do normal, you can do hard. You will unlock level 4 through 6. Because right now, you can only do level 3 until you do hard mode. But now you can do it on normal mode. Level 7 will be available Gay 3 of Thaymine. So if you've done your Thaymine normal 1 to 3, you should be able to push to level 7 Transcendence. And make sure to do the chest, the pants, and the weapon. Elixir progression update. Epic elixirs have been removed. Oh, 
<laughs> players that have epic elixirs will still be able to use them and they will not be removed from player inventories. I don't care, I'm removing them all. Ivory Tower Normal and Solo Modes now drop legendary elixirs, even Solo Mode. So don't worry all you hermits. You can now get legendary elixirs. I expect a lot more people to get 40 set elixirs. Awesome. That's it for the patch notes. So overall, I think it was huge. But you know, what I'm really more excited about is actually this. Double Fate Ember event. I never expected something like this to happen. This is something in the good direction. So I hope they continue to do stuff like this where it helps out. And it, you know, it engages the community to do things more often. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe for more reactions like this one or other goofy videos that I make. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.